people. Okay, well, I was straight. Oh, I didn't think I'd get anyone for a bit. Uh, sitting, mucking around. Okay, so I'm through the surf. Uh, it was a bit gnarly, so I thought it's going to play it safe and get set up after I get out. But yeah, so we're fishing already, I guess. We're out on the reef. Hopefully we'll be in the running for a snapper. I might just hang on. This lens, sorry. Hopefully this lens comes good. Hey, hey. First comment, well done. Uh, bad, bad jar to win. I hope I said that right. I'm sure I did. <laughs> oh, he has a guy, Ben Dooley. Okay, so sounder, uh, it's got marks on it already. There's a boat out there already. It's a big rain cloud over there, which is uh, not overly exciting. Yeah. But uh, we'll try and get this on. Looks good out. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. It's better than I hoped. It's not great, great. Is that a little bit blurry? Hey, from Port Macquarie. How you going, man? Good luck, mate. Good, thank you. Uh, go Boys G Studios. Cool. I'm from California, US. How you going, Bash? So, yeah. Um, it's a little bit windy. But not too bad. If I turn around that way, it'll feel windy. Hey, if, if anyone can comment, is it blurry? It looks blurry on my screen, but I can't tell whether it's me or not. Or Looks like a horrible northerly. Uh, it's not northerly. It's, um... What is it? It sort of it almost seems northwest or oh, southwest, I'd say. Yeah, kind of blurry. Yeah. yeah. Look, I've got this sort of lens. Sort of, I didn't bring anything to. <laughs> a little bit blurry, but fine to watch. Okay, I'll see. I'll see how I go. If I get really, if everyone starts complaining about it, I'll give it a, I'll give it a wipe. I've got. I put like a little, um, like the lens off my Optrix case. I ripped it off last night and put the wide angle lens. I just like elastic banded it on. <laughs> How you going, dude? Doing stuff with Dina. How you going, man? Thanks for always commenting, bud. Um, yeah, so I've got like a wide angle lens sort of half taped onto the front of my camera on my phone. So if it seems a bit dodgy, that's why. But at least you're getting wide angle now because in the first couple, I'd be like, no one can see anything. So at some point, I'm going to have to stop talking and try and catch a splash the lens. Oh, it's, it's only sitting on top of my splash the lens. Water will get under that lens. And I think that'll become a problem. Anyway, I'll start fishing in a sec, but I'm just uh, waiting until the feed gets going. Quite a few people jumping on board. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so we'll have a couple of muck around casts while we talk. There's some good marks here today. It's good enough, bro. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, <laughs> thanks mate. Big out of Texas. How you going? Speaking of Texas, I was watching a guy, I couldn't believe, um, is it Thresher fishing? I, I just, like, I've got to obviously stuff to him. I watch his videos here and there. He seems like a good one too. But uh, I uh, watched a live feed. I didn't watch the whole thing, unfortunately, but it was five and a half hours. I was like, really? People do five and a half hour live feed? I was like, holy smokes. But uh, it was cool to watch, actually, and see how someone else does it. Some interesting points he talked about actually in that, which uh, I found interesting for me. <laughs> I found it interesting how uh, how long you could sort of make something like that run, and obviously I can't do it here. <laughs> Got a pen slammer because of me. It's pen slammer three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it cold out there? It's about ten degrees, so it's not warm. And once you get splashed by the water, definitely not warm. But you know, hey. Oh, there's a boat out here. He's gonna look at me like I'm an idiot because I'm talking to myself the whole time. <laughs> All right, there's lots of little marks on the sounder, but I should uh, play it. Hey, good day from Canada. Have you tried some octodigs? I have tried octodigs in the past, not recently. I do have a few at home. I probably should get them out. Watching from Turkey. Hey, how's it going, man? What size Veritas rods? I think this one is a four to eight kilo stick. And it's uh, seven foot long. Mexico, how you going, man? All right, hang on. Let's get out onto some marks. Oh. Is she a coughs? Yeah, no, I was down there. It's only a brief trip. Is this thing off? I might turn this camera off. I've actually taken all the other cameras off apart from the one on the chest today. It's all about live feed. 
Yay. So, we've got the vibe on one rod, which I'm just dangling out. I've got a hard body, which I'm gonna let out a little bit, which is about a five meter deep, uh, deep diver. See if one of them gets hit. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's the big question, isn't it? Will I actually catch that thing? It's kind of a high pressure situation. I don't feel like a bit silly. What's this morning tide? Is that like a uh, a homage to the real morning tide? Because I'm pretty sure that's not the real morning tide. <laughs> But I saw you coming, man, but I missed it. No skiff today, mate. No. God, everyone keeps uh, wondering why I'm uh, doing skiff and not kayak. I finally got in the kayak, and now they're asking where the skiff is. <laughs> I'll um, definitely do be doing both. I enjoy both, so I'll be doing lots of both, skiff and kayak. Probably done more kayak recently than skiff, but unfortunately the trips haven't quite worked out as well, or I just haven't time to edit a video, so. Morning, Logan. I'm moving pretty quick actually, so normally I'd like to drop, I'm going to have to cast ahead a little bit. Probably should have bought the Drogue or like the Sea Acre. Miami has great kite fishing. Cool. One day I'll get over there mate, one day. Hey Blake, how you going man? Morning. Oh yeah, with the 460, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your vids made me kayak it. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, I can't read morning any luck so far no only just started though so cheers from Pamina Panama <laughs> all right let's try and fish a bit because I'm not really fishing I'm just talking if I'm really lucky I'll get like just a free ride and get like one of these lures to go off on and just knock around Uh, hey Paul, is that Paul Pallet? Wow, the man. Are you still over in South Africa? Uh, snapper today, mate. But I'll take anything I can get. The family's hungry. <laughs> Cambridge, UK. How you going, man? Jamaica. Far out. Yeah, I get a big kick out of having to get places. Florida. States. Oh, sorry, I missed that. It said, "Hey, Rocky, do you ever fish in Jamaica?" <laughs> What do I have on the back right? So I've got like a hard body, like a, it's like a Samaki pacemaker hard body on one side, like a deep diver on this side. And on this, or down on this side here, this has got that vibe, that pink vibe. So either one could uh, go off without me having to touch the rod. So that's why I've got a dangling at the back. At some point, if I get desperate, I'll grab that and try, try and fish with that as well. a fish or am I just caught on something? Oh, I think I just got caught on the reef. <laughs> got excited though. So I'm just basically floating over. The reef comes up and down quite a lot here. So I'm literally just floating the plastic just out a little bit in front of me just trying to get this to take off so no paddling so I won't be spooking the snaps hopefully but I'm not exactly finding any luck either just drop it straight down here there's like killer marks here but I'm assuming it's just bait I was gonna do like a big live baiting session and everything no I haven't caught anything yet mate sorry um, I was gonna try and do like an epic live baiting session but um Fox got uh, he's been feeling a bit sick and it became evident that I was not even going to get to go fishing and then my wife was very nice to let me go this morning because she saw that I put a post up telling everyone I was going to do it. Found you for Key West, yes, yeah, Steve's the man. <laughs> Steve was uh, one of the early YouTubers to sort of um, jump on board and, and say he watched my vids and, and give me a bit of support so that's cool, Steve's a cool guy. 
if you're not a fan already, jump on the Key West. It's, it's one of the better kayak fishing channels on uh, YouTube, I'd say. There's only a few really, really big ones. Is that boat moved over there? Come on, I gotta get a fish. If not, I'll go for a bit of a troll. <laughs> Cover some ground. Because I'm going over good marks. Look, you should see here, I'll try and show you this. How you going? Quiet. Uh, I'm not sure if you see this, but uh, so there's the sounder. Look at that. Now that's a bait school and a half. But I want something more than just bait. Uh, gotta get ready for school, mate. Yeah, go get ready for school, buddy. Thanks for tuning in, hey. SA as in South Africa or SA as in South Australia? Because I would come and visit both. But you know, it's just, it's just finding time with family and all of that and money. <laughs> money especially, like I'm a flush with cash, I go everywhere. Oh yeah, hey guys, don't forget to hit the like thing, hey. Because uh, um, I noticed, uh, th th this is something that, that Thresher Fishing was talking about. Because I got a, quite a few guys saying they love the freshwater vids. But I think, um, what does that say, my wife wants to see more vids with your son, yeah. No, well there'll be more coming up, I'll keep fitting them in as I go. But um, yeah, a lot of guys were asking him if um, he'll do more freshwater fishing and he just flat out said no because none of his subs really want to watch it and affects his channel greatly well that murray cod video that i put up which i thought was pretty reasonable it's just been a big flop and every bass video i put up every freshwater video basically just gets so few hits and likes that i um I, i'm just a bit uh discouraged about those ones at, at the moment and it was really interesting to hear what yeah thresher fishing said he said, because once you know, if you put a couple of uh, slow vids up that don't do too well, the algorithm knocks everything back. And I've noticed on my channel, like the, you know, the standard sort of views and likes has gone way down over the last couple of vids. So I'll have to get back into, I guess, like realistically, I guess people who originally came to my channel for offshore and saltwater and, and all of that. So I guess I should sort of stay to my original point. But I kind of want to build, I like all kinds of fishing, you know, when, whether it's fresh or salt or boat or skiff or whatever or, or kayak so it seems silly to not uh, look at those marks come on fly off how can i not get ahead have to hook your hand yeah well that's the depressing thing like keep it salt <laughs> it will do paul i think the writing's on the wall with that as well don't need money to come. I missed the end of that comment, but uh, the catch with that is I do need money because I can't keep going on trips and not take my family. <laughs> because um, it's unfair. Like my family wants to go on holidays too, and if I just keep going fishing. Look, if this was my job, like if, it, if YouTube was my, um, do I like chumming? No, I don't like burling very much. I've done plenty of it in the past when I was younger, but I'm kind of steering clear of... Uh, you, you know, uh, burly as much as possible. But yeah, so it's unfair to go on holidays without taking my family. Like, they'll, they've been nice enough to let me go on as many as I have gone. And there's no reason, say, if we go, say, like that New Zealand trip, that was awesome. And uh, there's no reason why they can't come and we can all go and have a good holiday as well as me go fishing. All right, I'm getting off the reef now. There's one really good mark. I'm going to drop on this and then I'll maybe troll back so you get to watch me paddle for a while and not drop. A bit disappointed I haven't had a hit yet though. Come on, that's a good mark. This has got to be worth something. Just one fish on the board and then I can relax. Come on. No love. Far out. You need to make shirts. I've got t-shirts. <laughs> You know what the problem is with the t-shirts? Once again, this is, I'm, I'm not going to talk about money from this point on, but once again, it's a problem like, I couldn't afford to get a whole stack of like shirts pre-made, so I got like the direct uh, printing kind of guys to do it, which is cool, they do a good job, but the problem is if, if I promote it, if I go on Instagram and say, hey, can everyone buy a shirt? And if, if like 20 to 30 people bought a shirt, it would completely drain our account, and then we wouldn't have any money to you know buy food. Uh, and then, then there's a turnover, it takes about a week for the, um, 
for Shopify or about four days for them to turn around and give the money back. So we'd have no money for about a you know five days, which I can't sort of put the, uh, the pressure on the whole family to do that. So once I look, everything's moving along. You know, once the YouTube everything gets sort of going a bit more, then maybe I'll be able to afford to do it properly. But at the at the moment. Yeah, it's just sort of a slow grind to get to where it needs to be. Mackerel, no, it's a bit early for mackerel, unfortunately. <laughs> See, I thought that was a hit, it was just a bit of seaweed. Yeah, the mackerel won't turn up till maybe around November. If you're a bit further up and out, maybe past Morton Bay, you're probably still in a good chance, you get in with a good chance to still get them. Or if you can go out wider here even, they're still around, they're still Spanish around, but I can't get out that wide. Snapper, no snapper yet. I'm trying to catch one though. There's been pretty crappy reports about uh, fishing over the last week too, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not overly confident. Come on, just one. I'm coming up to a good part of the reef that I'll go over now, so. So I'm literally just dropping down as the as the uh, wind takes me out. I'm literally just dropping down. Ronnie, how can we contact you privately? Uh, you can send me a message. <laughs> Depending on what message, what I get, I'll, I'll reply. I try to reply to just about everyone, but um, <laughs> I guess within 10 minutes, what to catch one? I hope so. Come on. Normally by now, if I've gone over these good marks, this is making my drive to Brisbane so much better. <laughs> I feel you, man. I drive to Yatla, so not quite Brisbane, depending on where you're driving from, I guess. But uh, I travel a similar road up that highway every day. And as much as I like working up at yeah at, at uh, the kayak shop, and it's fun and it's it's interesting to me, I do struggle with the drive. And you realise every day you just spent like you know over the week it's like man I just spent like six to eight hours or something in the car. <laughs> But podcasts keep me sane, and things like live feeds and YouTube videos. I do like a good podcast. Come on. Pretty much going over nothing now. But there's still blips on the sound. Alright, let's maybe troll over. Cover some ground with the hard body. This is, if you're wondering why I'm paddling funny, it's because this thing that I've got the camera on is too close. So I'm gonna have to hold my paddle up a bit. A little bit more line out. Are you streaming from your phone? Yes. It's an iPhone 7. Oh, look at those marks. I've got a drop. Maybe I'll drop with my legs. I'll sit, I'll sit on this and try and paddle back. Yeah, I got tip wrap. <laughs> These marks here, well, this rod should go off. Normally I wouldn't be concentrating on talking and I'd be back paddling like this. And I'd just, I'd just go out and I'd be ready to click over. Because I'm talking, I'm just sort of letting it float out the back, so maybe I need to get on marks and try and do what I'd normally do. Yeah, so I was going to do I need to shout out. Hagar, hey man, the clear choice 18. Alicia. And baby Adriel, I think, was Adriel? Hey. Aloha. Sorry, that's a pretty lame shade out, but there you go, man. <laughs> it's as good as it's gonna get. Man, I'm gonna have to get a proper clip on. Yes, definitely coming back to New Zealand. Maybe by the end of this year. Just depends. There might be a chance of a different kind of trip coming up. I don't know if it's actually gonna go ahead, but um, it could be a tropical trip. But, um, Within Australia, so not Hawaii. <laughs> but we'll see if that pans out. Maybe November. Could be a really cool trip though. 
okay. The roof's coming back up to 10 metres again now, so... Come on, I really want to catch a fish here. I've got to get something for dinner as well. <laughs> That's a lot of emoticons, bro. Nice. <laughs> bit choppy out there. Yeah, it's a little bit choppy, but this is this is all right now. The wind's sort of pushing me back out this way. When I turn around, it'll seem a lot. Um, I want to go fish in Australia. <laughs> the wind's pushing me out quite quickly now. If I turned around and faced into it, I'd probably realise it's quite a bit windier. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for even if you don't catch it, well, you're in for a treat, mate, because it could be. <laughs> exactly what's going to happen. What's the water temp? 19.3. So it's come up a little bit. But it's still low. I think further out the water temp's come up considerably. No bites yet unfortunately mate, sorry. It would be cool to get a horse. Come on, I just want to see this line fly off. Come on. Uh, turn live off, you'll slay them. Yeah, probably. But I'm trying to get into this live sleep, yeah, live stream thing. Drift shoot. No, I didn't bring it. I used it down at Cost for the first time though, Paul. You'd be proud of me. And it was good. I should have brought it today, but I thought the wind would be a little less uh, windy. <laughs> Let's sort of troll back over that patch. See if we can stick it off. So we've got the vibe out. We've got a little pink vibe. We've got a uh, hard body out, so. One of them could do the sort of the deal deal business. and 23 people watching, eh? I never really thought I'd ever get 120 people watching a live stream that I did anyway, so I guess I could be happy with that. <laughs> Hopefully, man, I think like the, some other guys, I watched another one the other day and they had 8,000 people watching. I was like, man, that's crazy. Now that I'm pushing back into the wind, it's a bit choppy. So we'll paddle back down. How good are the legends from Pure Fishing? Yeah, no, they're good. <laughs> you work at Pure Fishing. <laughs> I missed the, uh, I wanted to go and see them. I missed them. Uh, I wanted to go to after this year, but unfortunately I had to organize the trip. And so it, it was, you know, it was well and truly well before I knew that the date the dates were after were. So unfortunately, I couldn't go this year. But it would have been nice to sort of see them because I very rarely get a chance to meet up with the guys that sort of support me. And uh, it's only up until recently that I've actually felt like I had anything to offer them as well. So I was just talking all these big wigs. <laughs> <coughs> Big wigs of the fishing industry and the... Uh, by catch. Am I still sponsored by catch? I don't think I was ever sponsored by anyone uh, called catch. You might need to elaborate on that. Awesome watching live. <laughs> That'd be more awesome if I actually saw something. from Missouri. How you going, man? I haven't seen any whales out. I've seen a lot of good whale footage over the last week from kayakers. I haven't seen one this morning yet. Don't worry about this, that stuff, man. When your channel will grow, you'll find for some reason. Australia, busy. Ah, Mr. Wrestler coming. Uh, GoPro 
that is fine, it's turning itself on for no reason. Anyway, the sander is lit up over this part of the reef. So let's get that hard part of the flight through it and see what happens. You're using Hero 513. Uh, the two cameras on the oh, attached to the card are going to be pluses. And the camera on my chest is a Hero 5. Got a pause in the chat. I think if a drop of water's hit the screen. Where's the turtle? Ah, that's a big question, isn't it? I do know where he is. I'm sure everyone will find out soon. Oh. about it. <laughs> uh, how long have we been going for? 26, okay. I can handle 26 minutes of not catching a fish, but I'd like to catch something now. So. Come on, hard body, go on. What is it yet? Not yet, unfortunately, Henry. I haven't seen you hook a shark, mate. I've hooked many sharks. Sometimes they in plague proportions around uh, certain areas and you can't help but hook, hook sharks. I think I put up a few videos of some, with some sharks in it. None of the big ones. I've only hooked maybe two big ones which are about two and a half, three, well, well one big big one and then one maybe two and a half meters. And then apart from that maybe countless little reef sharks that's for sure. Countless. Man I remember one day, there's a video up actually and it's I don't know if you can see in the footage very well, but there's a video of, I think it's called uh, Reef Shark Beatdown to Feed the Family, I think it was what it was called. And um, I catch a long tail in it, but in the beginning of that video, when I was um, catching live bait, there's so many reef sharks. Like, I looked down at one point and they're just circling around the kayak, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. And they were jumping out of the water at distance, like spinning. And every bait I dropped, if I pulled the live bait jig in, you'd see the sinker come through the water and they were attacking the sinker. It was out of control. I was like, geez, I really don't want to fall in here. And then I caught maybe, I think maybe four sharks that day before. And then I gave up. I was like, man, obviously I'm just going to catch sharks non-stop here. And then I pulled one more bait down and I got a long tail. <laughs> and it didn't get sharked. I need to make a video with Steve, as in Steve from Key West. I'd like to. But he's all the way over in Key West. That's the only catch. One day I'll get over there, mate. I'd love to travel. I don't know if Steve's interested in traveling. Man, there's some marks here. Just gotta get across a little bit so I don't go through my own lines. Come on, this has gotta be good for a snap. But man, I'd love to go do a video with Steve. There's lots of YouTubers I'd like to go. Um, I don't think anyone is, apart from some of the Aussie guys, everyone's starting to get on board. We're starting to do videos together with some of the cool channels in Australia. One day a trip to the US, I don't know. Oh, no! I was too busy talking. talking it just went <sighs> it made that sound when you hear the brake coming off real fast
<laughs> I'm, I'm down at Kingscliff. I guess it's alright to tell people now. I got a lot of messages and private messages yesterday after I put that post up asking me where I was going. <laughs> as much as I, I don't mind, you know, talking to people and meeting people, uh, uh, you know, on the water as well as, you know, around and, and I'm usually happy to talk to everyone. But if I did get 10 guys come down here, you know, in the morning, <laughs> the live feed just wouldn't happen or videos just wouldn't happen. So I couldn't tell anyone. And plus, I don't know if everyone, you know, this spot's all right because everyone knows about Kingsbury, but I wouldn't, you know, broadcast where I was going the day before, that's for sure. It just turned into a yeah, non-fishing event. <laughs> Damn, I had a chance there. Uh, I might just cut a loop back around and try, try and go over that spot again. It's tough to do, yeah. I'm finding that out. It's tough to concentrate on fishing and to live feed at the same time. That's for sure. <laughs> It'd be good to get one on the troll though, that'd make it easy. There's no reason, like every time I stop that vibe goes down and that hard body goes down when I take off, so there's no reason why one of them couldn't go off. It has been a bit tough, uh, a bit tough fishing wise over the last week or so I hear. I haven't been able to do a trip since Coffs. Just because uh, I used up all my passes, which is fair enough. Man, can you imagine my screen though? I'm like, that can see Once I get everything sorted, like, I'll get this white screen thing going a bit better so it's not blurry. I'll get like, and you know, can you imagine like a peak mackerel? Assuming the phone will um be time. Good luck. Cheers, man. Thanks, Paul. Paul's a good mate that uh fish with plenty. A good tiger from down the coffs area. It's over seas at the moment, I think. Sorry, I couldn't catch the fish for you. <laughs> Where's that mark? I'm gonna find the edge of that reef again. There was a good mark Sorry about that little little touch. No lack of bait. There's lots going on. Come on, something. Anything. Yeah, come like summer. The fish are on and I get this a bit more sus. Hopefully we'll be in for some big fish. How do I donate? Uh, if you want to donate, the best way I guess to support is through Patreon. You know, you can sign up and just donate a small amount every month or, you know, however you want to do it. Or you could buy a t-shirt or you could use Super Chat on the live feed. There's a thing called Super Chat. I don't know how it works, but apparently you can just donate through Super Chat on, on the live stream. But, you know, hey, look, if you want to, go for it. If not, you know, it's all good. starting to hit the surface. So much bait. There must be something pushing them around. Come on, there's 
They're what I'd call decent marks. Really should be on this side though. This is the side scan. Hey, super chat, Daniel, thank you. Daniel Van Dusen, I think it was. Thank you so much. Oh, wow, and Dean as well. Thank you so much, guys. Wow, Super Chat really does work. I'm not sure how you guys did it, but apparently you can do that. <laughs> There's a boat coming around behind me. Probably wondering why I'm talking to myself the whole time. There's some pretty serious uh, sort of semi-service action going on here. Some, some thumbs up for guys for the support. Cheers, thank you. Yeah, super chat. Yeah, uh, super chat's cool. And thanks for guys for smashing the like button. We jumped up a bit more. that are tuning in. Hey Robert, watch this while at work. Yeah, winter fishing sucks. Sometimes, right? Sometimes it's smashing it, but sometimes it's just so Man, there's some serious uh, action on the sound. I don't know what it, what it is, but there's a lot of lines. Better than watching Arsenal at the moment. <laughs> yeah, right. No good, huh? <laughs> That's one place I have been. Caught a couple of trains in Arsenal. Uh, I was staying at Finsbury Park in the UK. Went over and uh, stayed over there for a while. Oh, well, uh, thanks, Fuzzy Bear. Thank you. Hey, that's awesome. Is it tuna or salmon? Uh, I would call it for maybe small tuna or bonito or something. If there was something there, maybe back tuna. I haven't seen anything hit the surface, but obviously something's broken the boat up. Because it's sort of mid to top water and the birds have started hitting a little bit back there. so. Something's obviously doing its work. You'd like to think there's a snap up there. Yeah. Not getting any love though. Let's burn it in quick. You need a wing cancel, my guy. Is that really bad, is it? Sorry. I think especially with this angle as well. I'll try and turn back around that way. Hello from Brazil, how you going man? Don't give up. Nah, look I said I'll, I'd stream for as long as the phone battery goes, so I don't know how I can tell if the phone battery is dying or not, but I've gone for a bit windy. Yeah, a little bit windy. Could be worse. It's probably, I don't know, what, what is it? Maybe 15 k's, 14 k's. It's not even, not even maybe. I think it's because I'm getting pushed out with the wind, I'm not really noticing it. Definitely not getting any love though with the fish. Oh, get up a bit, wind up wind a bit. Man, there's some serious action on the sound. <laughs> so the wind's pushing me along at about 3 k's an hour. Maybe I'll go for a troll out to the outer mark. I've got a, an outer mark further out. Hey, does anyone know the time in Australia, like Queensland? 
because I can't look at it, look it up on my thing. Oh, hang on, I got it on my sounder. What am I talking about? Uh, six fifty-one. Okay, I got time. I got about another hour of fishing, and then I gotta be in because my wife's uh, gotta hit the books a bit harder. <laughs> Not the books, the work. Should be nice enough to let me go. Fox is sick. Fox is my youngest son. Do a portable battery charger for the few. Yeah, no, hey, I, I'm going to get a portable battery. Uh, Brendan from FPV, I put that post up yesterday night actually on Facebook and Instagram saying I was going to do the live feed. And um, straight away, because I said, uh, someone asked me, oh, I said I'll stream until my battery runs out. So, But he's obviously supplied me the batteries, but he's sending up a little, like a splitter. And the splitter uh, will, will allow me to USB plug, plug in USB. Oh, wow, thank you, David. That's huge help, man. Thank you, thank you. David McClesh, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm sorry. What's your Insta? It's just Rocket Kit, same as my uh, YouTube. So yeah, go and hit the Insta if you're not, and, and that way, if you're keen to sort of see if I'm gonna do certain things, I'll announce it on Insta. I've probably got to look into announcing it on YouTube as well, like in the posting, but I, I don't know, I haven't sort of figured that out yet. Come on, fish, even a rock cod, something to <laughs> WhatsApp or on Telegram? Oh no, no WhatsApp, unfortunately. Just Insta, I've got a Facebook. Obviously Instagram and, and YouTube are my, probably my main two go-tos. A lot of the time Instagram just uh, tends to be like, tends, I just tend to share the same thing on Instagram as a, uh, I put the same thing on Instagram as Facebook, but sometimes Facebook is easier to converse with. Instagram messages and DMs I often miss. And uh, Facebook's easy to talk to people in, but, but I don't get as much engagement on that. And Instagram's slowly starting to get there. Whoa! Hey, hey, that's a big super chat, man. Thank you so much. Um, I, I, uh, I, uh, I Trump? I'm sorry if I said that wrong. $20 super chat, bud. That's, that's huge, mate. Thank you so much. It's like a big, big help. They'll get me on more trips and help the family. <coughs> Thank you so much, mate. All right, there's good marks. There's things happening here. Come on. <laughs> if I catch something, I'll cook it and I'll do a video I'm cooking it. But I've got to catch something. Whoa. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you so much. Hi from Florida. Love the channel. What size rod and reel? Uh, so the one I'm fishing with mainly at the moment is a 4500 uh, pen slammer and it's on a Abu Garcia Veritas rod and it's a 4 to 8 kilo stick at 7 foot. Thanks so much for the super chats guys. Big, big help. Yeah, so I'll try and get into the habit of, um, oh look at that shit. It's like a cool sailing ship, like looks really cool on the sun, on the horizon. Um, yeah, I'll get in the habit if I'm doing live feeds to try and announce it on um, 45 seconds. Jeez, I hope you're right, mate. Uh, get in the habit of putting um, like posts up on Instagram and telling people how to do the live feeds and things like that. Come on. You know what, I'll go for a troll out wide as soon as I get off this edge of the reef. Dropping down in front is just not working for me, unfortunately. Hey, good mass. Yeah, the pen slammer. Like, I can't fold it, the new slammer 3. Like, I've had that one at the back there is a 5,500. I've had that for almost three years now. It's been through two, like, three mackerel seasons, two slammer seasons. It's caught numerous fish all sizes and I haven't serviced it once. I was saying I'm going to do a video with um, of, uh, pulling it apart maybe. Like a video of pulling it apart and see what it's like inside. But any rod that can, any reel that can go for two and a half years without a service and still feel um, smooth. Okay we're down to 20% battery. So we'll keep going until it runs out but uh, at some point this is going to end. I'm sorry I haven't caught a fish yet. Okay. 
but uh, Penn should sponsor you. Penn do sponsor me actually, Penn Australia, so I'm lucky in that regard. Avatar way, it's now been replaced by Slammer. Yeah, look, you know, like, there's plenty of good reels out there. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a brand fanboy. Like, I used Penn originally because they had the Jigmaster 500s and they, they have no bearing, so they're indestructible pretty much on the kayak. 3D capital recoil. Seems complicated. I don't know, I guess YouTube's starting to get on board with 3D as well, so I could think about it at some point. Come on, snapper. Do you get a lifeliner? Yeah, well, the Swinfish has a lifeliner. Yeah, so I use the slammers now. Uh, and I, that's originally, so I went the overheads, which are all the jig masters, because they were indestructible on the kayak, because we're going through too many spin reels and overheads. Like I went through like a Shimano TLD sort of phase, and that kept gumming up all the time. Super chat, thank you, Aaron. You! And then, um, then uh, I saw a guy always fishing with a Penn Spinfisher 5 or V and he kept uh, bringing it out and I was like man he's on a classic yak, yeah, how's he keep that reel going? And so I switched to spin reels with Spinfisher V's for spin reels and, um, and jig masters for overheads and they, they, they would last, you know, they would last seasons without having to service. So once a season I'd just service them and they'd be, they'd be going strong and then I started using the slammer threes and man that's like game changer when it comes to servicing and everything because like these the, the smaller reels I've got with the slammers have been going for over a year maybe a year and a half and I haven't had service and they're still smooth as and the big that 5500 the bigger one that has not had a service for over two and a half years it's still going smooth so we'll see at some point I'll have to uh which TLD is a 15 I think I was using the 15s you can't go too much bigger. The 25s are too big to fit in this hatch. All right, I'm gonna go for a trial because I'm not getting any love. I'll leave that out. Looks like you had a king stiff. That is correct, I am. There's heaps of bait. There's like a ridiculous amount of bait uh, like cruising around. Yeah, I'll zoom out. I'm gonna head out to an outer mark because the inn's not happening for me. Nice line, right? It'd be nice if I caught something. I know, I talk a lot on these live feeds, eh? I would like to catch a fish too. I'll go for a trial, I'll trial it out to the outer mark, drop a couple of times and that might sort of take me up to the end of the battery life. Hit the like button guys, if you haven't hit the like button, sorry to keep mentioning it, but I just I really want this video to go alright, so because my channel's been suffering after all the freshwater fishing I've been doing. <laughs> no one wants to watch my freshwater vids apparently. So as soon as that video went up, and because it bombed, it only hit like, I think it's only, it hasn't even hit 6,000 yet. So what, oh, big super chat. 50 bucks, dude, that is crazy. The clear choice 18, man, that is unheard of. Thank you so much. I never thought I'd be in a position to, <laughs> to, to get someone give me 50 bucks on the street. <laughs> so, thank you. I'll definitely be uh, putting in as much effort for you guys as possible to try and make good content, okay? Because it's, it's pretty amazing. Oh no! Oh, okay, I'm back. Here we go. That's crazy, man. That super chat is crazy. to agree with you. I was really worried it would affect the channel. Like, uh, I wasn't sure how it would affect the channel, like whether stream videos are counted as normal videos, whether YouTube likes it at all, whether people would watch <laughs> as well, you know. <laughs> when I first saw your channel, the first video I watched was you catching crabs. <laughs> I am a bit of a grey nomad, god damn my hair's going grey. <laughs> quicker than I expected but uh you know at least I've got hair I can I can live with that I, can, I guess I oh a bit of wave on the camera sorry yeah I don't know just gotta roll with it <laughs> the grey sideburns I'll get a haircut at some point soon and we'll 
we'll get those sideburns taken off. It won't feel look too bad. My sister, who lives down in Sydney, that's originally where I grew up, she apparently says guys at her work, and uh, they said, oh, we're into fishing, and she goes, oh, my brother makes fishing videos. And they said, yeah, that's the guy with the grey sideburns. I was like, oh, man, is that how people know me? <laughs> Great. <laughs> here in Queensland too at the moment. Daylight savings have kicked, kicked in. What made me decide to change your... Oh, dude, I missed it. Uh, sorry. My handle's to the other side. Oh, now I get what you're saying. You know what? I haven't changed my handle to the other side. I, um, I think what happens is the, um, the camera flips the image. I think it flips it like... Um, some, for some reason, in the, when, when I'm using the front-facing camera in the live stream, it flips the image. So it might look like I flipped them, but I haven't. <laughs> Alright, where are we at? Nice live ride. Hey, God. Yeah. One of these live feeds will eventuate in a, like an epic video of just like crazy fish. But maybe not today. I'm going to have to move this camera, it's making me paddle weird because I can't, normally I'd have my arms out a little straighter, <laughs> and because I'm leaning in to see the, uh... hey thanks for taking the Pickhead Fishing Tackle Australia, oh Ethan, yeah I remember at the front, yeah yeah I think I was on the phone and you came over, no problems man, I think it's a novelty at the moment, I'm not used to anyone wanting to get a selfie with me, it's hilarious, but no, no problems. <laughs> battery oh we're going down fellas so in a couple of minutes I guess I'll have to wrap it up but yeah soon when I get that um that dual sort of USB connected from my battery I'll be able to do longer streams and we'll stick it out until we catch something damn I really wanted to catch something on this one what do you reckon here's a question do you think I um, do you think I leave the live stream up as a normal video so if someone wants to watch, they would watch it later on? Like, or do you think I'd delete, say if I don't catch a fish, if it's an epic session, yeah, I'd leave it up for sure. But if it's a quiet session like this, do you think it's worth leaving it up? Like, would you watch it and then like read the comments and enjoy it? Or is it just stupid? <laughs> keep, keep them bro. Oh, and hey, do you guys, do you guys, oh, if you're watching on a computer, I know the chat comes up on the side. But on a phone, I noticed, it took me a while to find it. On the phone, if you're re-watching the chat, you can, there's a button in the top uh, right-hand corner. I think two in from the left-hand side of the top right-hand corner. And you can turn the chat back on when you're re-watching on your phone. I thought that was cool. Then you can actually see what people are asking me while it doesn't just look like I'm talking. As long as it isn't super long, yeah. What's super long? Is super long like over an hour? I got sucked into watching like a good part of half at least on the drive up to work. Uh, thresher fishing's a uh, five and a half hour long one the other day. I was like, man, I can't believe I just did that. All right, where's this mark? Might get one more drop in before the live stream's gonna cut out on me. Come on turn around a bit. Man, this swell's whipping me out. I'm going at like 11 k's an hour. Whoa. It's like a wind chop. Getting back out. Come on. 
one more drop. I'm done. So yeah, don't forget to hit the like before you guys head off. Before I head off. <laughs> Try and make this video at least worth some for me. Thank you so much for all the support that guys. I'm trying to get get back on the spot here. I'm trying to have one more drop. One last chance of a fish. to drop see if we can find a mark and then we're done I think unlucky hat <laughs> yeah the stealth hat I don't know I typically thought that this was my lucky hat probably caught more big fish in this hat or you know what it was actually this same hat but a previous one I lost this hat getting knocked off at the bombing of Fido's once they replaced it for me. <laughs> I know what that said, Captain Gingerbread. But... <laughs> I missed it. Something about me hooking up, though. All right. Come on, show me one good mark. My battery's gonna run out before I get on this. Come on. Alright, I can just try and that's it. Last drop, and then we're uh, calling it quits, unfortunately, guys. Oh, it's done that weird zoom thing again. Alright, well, you're gonna get a close up of the last drop. Anyway, thanks for tuning in guys. Smash the like button as the last effort. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll try and make the next one an epic trip where I actually catch lots of fish, so. <laughs> Cheers, thanks heaps guys, thanks heaps guys. I'm gonna, I'll wrap it up. If I can even turn it off. Uh, my hands are too wet. Cheers guys, thank you. We're on live forever until the battery runs out. <laughs> no, can't turn it off. And I don't have anything to turn it off with. <laughs> All right, well, we'll keep going until it uh, runs out. So now I'm zoomed in and my hands are wet, so I can't zoom out. And I can't turn it off because the phones are wet. Yeah, right. Maybe I've got some dry clothes. <laughs> Classy live stream, huh? Where did you get your life jacket from? I bought it uh, online, I think it from a place here in Melbourne. It's the only place that's stocked in RS. Yeah, can't turn it off. Great. <laughs> Hello from Brazil. Thanks for tuning in. You're just uh, at the end of the stream. I can't turn this off. <laughs> hey, hey, jo uh, Justin. How you going, man? Good to see you jumping on in the last second. I've stuffed my phone. I can't turn it off. <laughs> this is class. You're right, Dave. I'm going to smash it with the live stream next time, all right? Well, maybe we just leave it on. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yeah, it carries on regardless, doesn't it? See, now I'm just concentrating on um, <clears throat> who do you watch on YouTube? Uh, I watch lots of people. Um, what really got me excited about doing vlog style videos, like I was doing crappy muck around fishing videos and just muck around edits for a while, and then I saw a few like John B was obviously right up there. Who else? Morning Tide, obviously. Um, you know, eventually Timmy jumped busted on the scene and he sort of become a good mate. Uh, who else? There's lots of guys, like, yeah, quite a few of the Googans, but I kind of dropped off a lot of the Googans, but definitely stuck with John B. I think he's, uh, you know, the classy option out of all of them. Uh, but I'd go through lots of them. Robert Field, good kayak guy. Steve, Key West. Oh, I'm timing out here. Yeah, but uh, lots of cool, lots of cool guys out there doing a good job. Thresh fishing recently. Um, there's lots of guys in the US that are all making a go and making a living of it, so they can do a lot more. But um, in Australia, there's a handful of us. Andy's fishing, obviously. Who else? Yeah, no, there's lots of guys. I can't let name them all. Oh, look, we got to, We've got the end button, so I'm going to hit the end button. But thanks for watching, guys. Smash the likes. Uh, thanks for watching and watch the next video. There's another video hopefully going up tomorrow. So check it out. Um, should be a good trip. Anyway, present. Cheers. Thanks, guys.